In this video, I'm going to be using ChatGPT AI bot to generate some high demand and low competition keywords for me, which I can use into my Amazon PPC campaign to make the performance of my PPC campaign better and to lower down the A cost. But again, I'm not just going to rely totally on this ChatGPT keywords, but I'm just going to save my time in doing some keyword research and let the ChatGPT do the keyword research for me and find me some high demand and low competition keywords. And then after getting all of those keywords, I will double check and verify all of those keywords, like if those keywords Keywords are really low competitive or not and if I will use all of those keywords into my PPC campaign will those keywords give me good results or not so all of this from finding the keyword and verifying the keyword and putting all of those keywords into my PPC campaign I'm going to show you right now in this video step by step so keep on watching this video till the end because that's going to be super super helpful for you and if you follow this strategy on your Amazon PPC campaign then that can save a lot of your time and give you some effective results for Amazon PPC campaign so you can get good impression good sales and rank your Amazon product on all of those keywords which are having high demand and low competition. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and here I have just opened three websites. Number one is ChatGPT, number two is Amazon.com and number three is Amazon. PPC. So in the first step, we will ask ChatGPT to do some keyword research for our product and then we will gonna verify those keywords that are those keywords really good or not and then we will put those keywords into the PPC campaign and see how much competitive they are. So let's take the product hip trainer as an example for this video because I'm gonna be creating the campaign for that product. So here we can just ask ChatGPT like hey ChatGPT can you please find out some high demand and low competition PPC keywords for my Amazon product hip trainer. So here I have just typed my question to ChatGPT and you can see that ChatGPT has already started writing the answer for my question. And you can see that here are some keywords and let's just wait for the ChatGPT to find out all those keywords and then we will start reading all of those keywords and one by one we will verify all of those keywords like if these keywords are really good or not. So let's go above and see. Here you can see that ChatGPT has typed the answer. Certainly I can help you with that. Here are some high demand and low competition PPC keyword for your Amazon product hip trainer. So as you can see that ChatGPT has properly understood my question and it knows that I want keyword for my PPC campaign for Amazon hip trainer is a product and I only want high demand and low competition keyword. So let's see if these keywords are actually high demand and low competition or not. So this is the first keyword hip trainer for women and this is the second keyword pelvic floor trainer for women and if we go down we can just find too many super relevant keywords because this is my product so I know that these keywords are actually super relevant keyword for my product like hip strengthening tool resistance bands for hip so these are great keywords so let's just copy the first keyword hip trainer for women and just go on amazon.com and type that keyword so here you can see that when I search this keyword so on the top corner you can see that one of the 48 results Amazon is showing me and Amazon is saying me that on this keyword there are 6,000 results for these products so that means this is not a too much big number and this keyword we can consider as a, a moderate competition not very low competition so let's just go back again and find out any other keyword like pelvic floor trainer for women if I copy that and if I paste that keyword here. So here after searching this keyword, we can see that Amazon is actually showing us some products and uh, this keyword is super low competitive because you can see that there are only 490 results for this keyword. And on the first page, Amazon is showing us 48 results. But when I scroll down on this keyword, so I can just see some irrelevant products which are not my product. So that means this is a low competition keyword, but this is not super relevant. So we cannot use this keyword. So let's just move on to any other like hip straightening tool which is on number six so copy that keyword and just paste that keyword here and just search for that because i don't want to make this video too long that's why i'm just skipping all of those keywords and i'm just showing you two three keywords here just to make your concept clear so let's just see what amazon is showing us on this keyword hip straightening tool 
so if i go down so i can see that these products are actually uh, not super relevant not relevant but they are better like i can see some of the product which are relevant to my keyword so we can use this keyword and here you can see that this is super low competitive keyword like the results are 604 and on the first page it is showing us 48 results so now go back again to chat gpt and just as any last keyword let's say hip resistance band so copy that keyword paste that keyword on amazon and just search it so here again you can see that there are only thousand results for this keyword so that means chat gpt has done the great job by finding us low competitive keyword but the one thing that chat gpt has not done correct is it has actually find some relevant and some irrelevant keyword so now here the human brain comes like we have just asked chat gpt to find some high demand low competition keyword so we are having some high demand low competition keyword but now it's our duty to find out which keyword is relevant and which keyword is not relevant so as we have already know that this is relevant this is relevant and this is relevant so now let's just go on to the ppc so we can actually double check the bids on all of those keywords like on amazon we can see that the competition is less but if on ppc if amazon starts showing us a low bids for all of those keywords then we will be 100 percent sure that these keywords are actually low competitive and if we start using these keywords into the ppc campaign so we can just get better results better sales by less spend so let's just continue here to create a campaign and let's just add the product go down uh in automatic we in targeting we can just select manual targeting and here in keywords we can just enter keywords manually so for example we go here copy hip trainer for women paste it here enter and again go here copy hip strengthening tool paste it here enter and copy the third one which we just tested <coughs> hip resistance band so after copying and pasting all of those keywords here we just need to click add keywords here so as you can see that amazon ppc has added this keyword but for one of the keyword amazon is not having the bid so we can just click uh, add keyword so here you can see that this is our first keyword which is hip strengthening tool and here you can see that it has just adjusted the default bid which is 0.95 dollar in all of those matches like broad phrase and exact and if we check out the second keyword which was hip trainer for women and here we can see that the broad phrase and exact bids are 1.39 dollar 0.97 dollar and 1.23 two three dollar and again for the hip resistance band here this bid is super high like four dollar but all of other bids are low like one dollar so all of those bids between zero dollar and 1.5 dollar are super good like low competitive but all of those keywords who are having bid more than two dollar three dollar four dollar or maybe five so those keywords are highly competitive and if you start bidding on all of those keywords so your pp spend will be too much high and you will get less sales so if i want to use these keyword so i will exclude only this keyword which is hip resistance band and broad match because it's having four dollar bid if i exclude this keyword so here i can see all of other keywords are less than 1.5 dollar so that means chat gpt has done the great work by finding us all of those keywords who are actually having high demand and low competition as per amazon ppc point of view but again as i say that it's our duty to check the relevancy of all of those keywords before putting all of those keywords into the ppc campaign like chat gpt can find out some keywords but then before putting all of those keywords into the ppc campaign we must need to analyze or search those keywords one by one on amazon like if we are able to see the same product on all of those keywords which we are selling or not and if we are not able to see the same product on any keyword we must exclude that keyword and only use all of those keywords which are super relevant so right after watching this video go there and implement the same strategy for your product so you can also save a lot of time by doing some keyword research and you can just get the keyword research for high demand and low competition keyword for your amazon ppc campaign done from chat gpt in just a couple of seconds and then you can just use all of those keywords into your ppc campaign and optimize your campaign for great conversion and great results so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it so if you find my content really informative and helpful for you then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well so you can watch more and more videos like this in future let's meet in the next video till then take care bye